Hello everyone, it's Erin, and I just wanted to share with you, excuse me, my latest thrift store haul. Everything I'm going to show you, um, this is two trips that I made, and everything, all of it together was um, $20. So I got a bunch of Christmas stuff. Um, I don't know if you're interested in seeing it, but I will show it to you. So I got these candles. I'm hoping that I can fix this one. I think they look vintage. I don't think I'm ever gonna burn them, so I think if I just glue it, it'll be all right. But here's the other one, I thought they were neat. They're like that light whipped wax. And then I got this roll of ribbon. It's really cute. It's got like a red and green print on it. Um, I got this thing of lace. Well, that was pretty. I like it because it's thick. I don't have a lot of lace that's that thick, and it's off-white, which is nice. Oh. Um, I got some Santa soap. Stocking stuffer soap. Oh. I'm just going to use it <laughs> like soap. There's the package. It's got his face there. It's kind of cute. Maybe I'll save the paper and use it in a junk journal. It doesn't really have... Yeah, it's peppermint. Made by Mary Lake. It's pretty heavy. It's a substantial bar of soap. And then I got this spray. It says, oh, Christmas tree. And it smells like a Christmas tree. It's called Vapory. It's by Claire Burke. There's the box. Um, I got a bunch of ornaments. There's only a couple in here that I think are like worthy of showing you. This one, which is, looks like his eyes might have been glued on or something and they came off, but he's made in Japan. This is Santa, and where's that other one? This one, this one's really cool. But the rest of them are just like those plastic, like this one's got a tree in it, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, they're just nothing special, but I thought that those were, that was neat. This one's kind of pretty. And then, that's it for Christmas, I think. And then I got this baggie full of eyelash trim. This is like a grayish blue color. And then there's some pretty pink. And it's called Thunder. This has got all kinds of colors in it. And brown, which... I can use right now in my Halloween journals. Uh, let's see. I got a caboodle. I don't know if you guys remember these from the 80s and the 90s, but it's pretty nice. Ah, it's got a little thicker in there. The other side. Flatline Corporation. I don't know. Sticker, I guess. It's me. But anyway, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Just needs to be cleaned up. There's what the thing looks like. And it still has the, the little keychain. Oh, that's Barbie. That didn't come with it. Okay, so there's that. That was nice. And I had to dig through a box to get all of this stuff right here. Okay. Um, so there's this little container. Wooden beads. 
looks like a vintage package. 29 cents. Um, these looks like somebody took apart a necklace, but they're faceted black. Plastic beads. Cool. Those and then these cute little bunnies. They are so cute. Made in Taiwan. Oh, I hope you can see them. Bunch of those. They're kind of heavy. I don't know what's in here. I didn't look. Nails. Teeny tiny nails. Thought these would be cute on a Christmas junk journal. I could snip that off or I can use them as charms. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. A little container of needles. Some really pretty. I love that color pink. Oh, pink la petite buttons. Oh, and some googly eyes, some old fashioned googly eyes. I made some Halloween tags one time that I used googly eyes on. They were pretty cute. Might make some more of those with those. Actually, I think I have one right here. Oh, yep, two little googly eyes on that one. <laughs> I saw this little box and somebody cut this out and glued it on here and inside I was very happy to find it says Lillian Albus on the inside if anyone knows what that is it's this half of a collar here's the other half of the collar and then under the tissue paper is this and it has a tag on it it says top hats by A Broad, B R O D. And then, yep, look at this one. Look how pretty. Looks old to me. So I thought those were fantastic. I was very happy to find those. And I like the box too. And I got these iron-on, I think it's to make a quilt with, but I'm going to use it. And what do you think? Junk journals. <laughs> this is that one, that one, that one, this one, which is fabulous. Pattern. Which is nice, nice thick paper. And then this, which I absolutely love. It's got the iron on backing on the back of it. It's about I don't know, two feet, so four feet all told. So I'm loving that. Um, I'll save that and be able to make a tag out of it. And then this one is the cat. And you put the glitter around the edges and stuff. It's basically the same thing. It's the pieces and all of it. So I'm not going to open that one. Um, then I grabbed a couple of these highlights. Puzzle Mania. I'm making a video. What do you need? I'm going to look for quick ride with one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, so there's that. I might take this part and use it in a junk journal, or I might save it for when my nieces and nephews come over so that they have something to do. There's two of those. I have so much stuff to junk journal with. 
believe me, I can spare those. And then someday I am going to do an ocean journal. I picked up this paper. It's really pretty. There's that one and this one. And they had a whole unopened package of this one left still, but <laughs> I don't need all that. Um, and then they had this. It's called Level 1 Scrapbooking Kit. My creations. Of course, my dogs are barking like they normally are. Piece of cardboard. And then, ooh, surprising things in there. So it's snowflake. And another snowflake. Okay, let's see what kind of paper we got here. Christmas tree. Squares. This is lighter. This is um, cardstock. And that one is not cardstock either. Oh, they're nice. Um, I'll put them up there, I guess. Oop. And then I got this bag. Stuff in it. Winter. Some stickers. Warmest witches, snow, hats, and, and frosty. Ah, my dogs are scratching at the door. Some letters. Um, some pop outs. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. I'm gonna make some nice embellishments with this kit right here. Um, hot cocoa. These are tags. Mm up to stick on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, don't scratch at the door. I'm always looking for words and sayings. I'm going to have to let them in. Just give me a second. I'm scratching my door up. Scratch. There's some, some more sayings and words. Some pretty paper. Looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. Um, and I got some. Oh, that's a tablecloth. I gotta learn to read stuff. I thought that was tissue paper. <laughs> it's a. I think it's plastic. It's gotta be plastic, right? Let's see. Vinyl tablecloth. I gotta learn how to read. I guess. Um, pixie, what kind of thing? And then I was so excited to find these vintage wrap paper. It's the real thin kind, though. But I don't mind. I just love the image images on it. Look at this one. Pretty. my favorite. Isn't that so pretty? There's quite a bit on each roll. They still have the, yeah, they've never been used. They still have that edge. They all have that edge? Yeah, brand new. I was very happy with that. Very, 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 very happy. There. Grab this bag. And then they had all of this in a bag. I didn't want all of it, but it was either, you know, they weren't going to let me pick out just what I wanted, so I had to grab it all. I really just basically ugh, wanted the fabric, but there is a ton to go through the fabric. Um, there's that print. That costs $2.97 at Ames. I don't know if y'all remember Ames, but another $2.97. It's pretty. This is just plain old pink. Like a mauve color. Somebody must have made a quilt. Some leaves. Flowers. Please tell me on the frame. Okay, good. Looks like muslin, which is nice to have. Ooh, I will be redonating that. That is that icky. 
polyester cheap. I don't like that. There's some red. It's a weave. It's weird though. Two prints of that. That's 50 cents. <laughs> Funny. 67 cents. American flag. Oh, cool. You can make uh, some yo yo's out of those. Those are perfect. Cool. Burgundy, yellow. This looks like, yeah, somebody cut like a curtain or something. That's pretty, that pretty print. Okay, so that's the fabric that I got. And inside, I will, I am donating a lot of this stuff. God, what the heck? <laughs> this is crazy. I haven't looked in here yet. Oh, goodness. Wow. That is an insane amount of stuff. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Lace ruffling. That's with 67 cents. I'm taking it out of the bag so we don't have to deal with the glare. Three yards. That's pretty cool. It's already ruffled for you. A bunch of these buckles. Anybody have an idea what I could do with those? I mean, there is a pile of them. One, two, three, six, nine of them so far. Nine. What can I do with those guys? A vintage, really used. another big N 30 cents cool safety pin oh that's pretty I like that you know has anyone else gotten like um, vintage ribbon or rickrack and you open the container and it just like disintegrates I've had that happen to me a couple times this is so pretty I love it it's like got a little edge on there. Can you see that? It's so pretty. I love that. I love yellow. I like to decorate with, to paint, and just so happy and I love it. Plus being in the North Country with the long winters. Love me some yellow. There's some more of those little beads like I got earlier. Some knitted material. Zipper. And it looks like a cross. Snaps. Zippers. Knitted cuffs. Eyelets. All different colored ones. I like that. I have plenty of knitting needles. Oh my god, I have plenty of knitting needles. I do not need those. What's that? Well, it's a zipper pull. Cool. I like that. Sewing machine needles. This is pretty. I like that too. Very pretty. Man, what a pile. What is this? Oh, it's lace in a plastic sleeve. I thought it was plastic lace. It isn't, is it? No, it can't be. It's got to be lace in a plastic sleeve. Nobody could make that. A chain, which is good. There's some Rick Rack. I love Rick Rack. Rick Rack's my favorite. There's some buttons. Elastic. Some beads. Teeny weeny weeny. Oh, there's number 10. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that was an interesting pile. Uh, 
last bag. These are not exciting, but they're in the bag, so I might as well show you. A pair of Crocs. They're too big. My feet aren't that big, but for a buck. Got those. And I got one of those Hold Your Horses, Herd Your Horses games. This is good for people that are making like um, cowboy junk journals or western junk journals. This has got some good, some good ephemera in it board is eh. No, it's okay. Floopy Flats, Fishhook Mountains, Greenhorn Mountain. <laughs> Here's the instruction booklet. Herd your horses. And then this is the part that's good for junk journals. There's a whole deck of all of these really cool horses. And then on the back, Tells you the breed and all that. So there's two, two of those. And then there's um, these Mustang adventure cards. And then there's ranch adventure cards. And then there's four of these. And you could probably make these into, if you snip the bottom off and poke the hole, you could turn them into... Uh, arms for your journal. So those are pretty. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool game. It's like the third one of these that I found. I just keep buying them. I don't know. That's what the cover looks like. Even the cover would make like a pretty, be a pretty junk journal. I've made junk journals out of game, uh, game boards before. these to put on Christmas junk journals. Get that out of the way, you probably can't see. It's just candy canes and red and white beads. They're wood. And then I got this. I just grabbed it because I saw the top one. I don't know what they look like. All of them in there. They're pretty they're good size. Oh, they look like they're all the same. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah, they're all the same. Oh, it's woodpecker. Goes that way. <laughs> okay, what's it say? The downy woodpecker is the most common woodpecker, almost identical to the hairy woodpecker, except it has a smaller bill. The male of both species has a red patch on the back of its head. Okay. There's those. Those are nice. And then they gave this to me because it was dirty. So I'm probably going to cut it up and use it because I love this red pom-pom trim. And then it's got these leaves with the sequins sewn on. Somebody sewed those on. And then that is not glitter glue. That is actually sewn all around the edge of the bird. So, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of it there. It's a Christmas tree skirt, and it has one, it has a couple spots where it has bells. So, I'm cutting that up, probably. And then, the piece de resistance, the thing that I just saw, and I said, oh my god. This was, this was in a, it was still shrink-wrapped. Origami Deluxe Book and Gift Set. Oh, and it is deluxe. There's the lid. And then that's what the top of it looks like. And it has... Wait a minute. Where's the thing? Right here. It flips. It does this. And then it has these drawers that open. And this thing's fabulous. And I've got, look at, bone folders, a compass thing. Of course, I just totally messed it up. It's 
not pretty anymore. <laughs> There's the book. Origami Deluxe. Let's see. It's got all the instructions on how to make zebra, dolphin, killer whale, cardinal. And then in the bottom, there's more paper. And there is a lot. Gold. Oops. So there, I was pretty happy to find that. I thought that was awesome. I love stuff like that, the little drawers, and... <laughs> and that is everything that I got. So all of that was $20 at my thrift store. Um, let me know what your favorite thing was. Give me some ideas on what to do with those buckles, those 10 buckles. What am I supposed to do with those? So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, tell me I'm nuts and I have too much junk. Because <laughs> I do. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to you later. Have a great weekend. Bye.